ducks. It's called the William Street Swap Shop. It's called the William Street Swap Shop. Hello, and welcome to the William Street Swap Shop. Hi, it's a pleasure uh, to be here with everyone today. <clears throat> I mean it. Uh, when the cameras flick on and I see Zach there sitting next to me, I know I'm not alone in this world. You are all out there watching, participating. Zach is by my side and together there's nothing we can't swap. There's nothing we can't achieve. There's no goal that we can't reach together. That's right. You've been put on this earth for a reason and we're here to help you figure that, that out in the next hour. I never excelled in my math class, my English class, science class, or PE, but I always got a one in citizenship, which meant I was always a good student, nice to my other classmates. Well, that one continues into adulthood. You're a great citizen to the show. Thank you, Matt. And uh, we want to welcome you and Hi. welcome you by saying uh, it's, it's a deal. It's a deal. We've done, we've done that almost a hundred times at this point, and I feel like I should be better at somehow smoothly saying, working us into the "it's a deal" graphic. You are correct. We have hosted this show going on almost a hundred episodes. Very soon, you will find we will be having our celebration. Very soon, we get our uh, one hundred episode diamond collar diamond. That's right. Worth a lot. It's just, it's being worked on right now. I answer, answered a few emails about it. They said, is it okay if we get it to you the day after the show? And I wrote a very stern email and used some words in caps and said, no, we need these on the day of the show, of the celebration for our broadcast. That's why it's the 100 collar diamond. It's the 100th episode. We get a collar diamond. We need it that day. All right. You're a great guy. You're a good jeweler. My dad recommended you, but I just, this is BS. And you know what I say? Hey, when a professional sports team, when they win the uh, cup, when they win the trophy, do they give it to them the next day? No, they give it to them that day that they won the trophy. They told us, we don't <coughs> think you'd get it this far. How many episodes can you do? Maybe 20. Matt and I proved them wrong, and we continue to do at least 300 more we'll see we'll see how far we can take it we want you to be here friday um i don't know why i'm promoting this because we don't have anything planned but friday is the is the number 100 right that's right According i was going to, to keep it a surprise numbers. and just let them find out but <coughs> friday is now our 100th episode if you go to william street or adultswim.com and look at our show on the archives page william street swap shop it says right now this is episode 96 or 97 sorry because tomorrow will be 98 and thursday will be 99 yeah so uh i think google's talked about they're going to change the uh google image when you go there for that it's going to be a swap shop themed google uh doodle or whatever right yeah so that'll be an exciting part of the day um the mayor uh, here in atlanta is going to present some sort of key to the city i'm hoping we haven't gotten that call yet but uh, fingers crossed. I think they said they were going to convert <coughs> the currency just in the city of Atlanta that day to swap medallions. Mm -hmm. and Everything bitcoins. will be swap generated in bitcoins in honor of us. It should be a, a great honor to our show. If you're new to the show, that's fine. You haven't really missed anything in terms of continuity or storyline. Uh, what we do is we help you swap your gently owned goods. We look for new friends to swap ideas and stories with. And uh, we try to just learn a little bit about each other on the way. We're going down a journey, a rugged path. And we need to hold your hand so we can all make it there together. Come hold our hands, swap items with us. What you're looking at right now is our gallery. It's a plethora of images. And if you would like to join have your items join these images, send us an email at williams.swap at gmail.com. Load your TIFF or PNG into the computer. Plug it in through your phone. Take a picture with your phone. Plug it in with a USB cord. 
find it on your computer. If you have to refresh, it will show up. The device will show up. It will scan for viruses. Don't Make sure you do not skip that step. Drag the image onto your desktop. Email it to yourself. And then email it to us. Forward that email if you choose right. to us. Williams.swap at gmail.com. <laughs> Which platform should you use? People are always like, what? I like to, you know, I'm on the go. You know what? You can do it on your phone. You can do it from a desktop computer. You can upload it from your uh, public library's computer, the Dell uh, workstation there with the brown stains on the keyboard. That works fine there. You can, uh, you can get your neighbor's uh, television right you can watch it on that right plug it into there's a cord it's called hdmi it's what you get hd picture from a lot of people uh relatives of mine call me up and they say zach can you help me connect my coax technical difficulties and i say uh if it's my my uncle 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 jerry you don't need coax anymore it's the future hdmi get the HD upgraded and before you know it that's going to be obsolete but you can connect with an HDMI to your your laptop to your TV and watch us on the television and still be a cord cutter borrow your charger you can't try me twice for the same crime so let's look at some of these new items it's intense there's still so many and we haven't swapped enough of them. Been a while since a successful swap. A lot of potentials. Right. A lot of people a lot of potentials circling, the, the, circling the, the drain. My palms are burning. <coughs> I want to get a hot swap. Boom. Make a successful swap. Here's the stuffed uh, gecko from Taco Bell. Right. The spokesperson for that in the 90s. What was his catchphrase? Just eat it or what was the... Keep on eating it. <laughs> um... We talked about him yesterday. Maybe we'll find a commercial, uh, an old commercial. We you know, you look on YouTube and find one yeah. and see if we could read. Like a retro. We right. should do that and, for tomorrow. And bring it up on our on our show. <coughs> Here's where we left off. We got an elephant figurine. Speaking of coax cable. Right. A glass elephant figurine. Uh, it's a bit small they it looks like the person josh who is the swapper in this photo took a picture uh of the elephant sitting what looks like to be on a desktop computer with a cable in the background but also a schedule it looks like he's it's like he's trying to decide what his next semester right. What's, what major am i going like. to take biology chemistry physics earth science or physical science and what i find interesting about it is he, i think he's going to like a, a star trek school because it's all next generation chemistry <laughs> next generation physics right and so i've never yeah. heard of a cat six patch cable that's uh new innovative technology you go into next generation physics you learn how does uh geordi laforge's uh visor work you go to next generation earth science what's up with uh wharf that's right <laughs> so that's i don't know true. if that comes with the the elephant figurine but um, you're going to want to swap for that thing. Well, you know, I t it I looks very small. It looks almost like uh, the size of a of a half dollar. Right. If we would add a quarter to scale, I would say it's probably only about yeah two quarters big. Uh, I, I pride myself on being a pretty technological person. I stay up to date with VR and what's going on with Oculus. But taking those classes, I think uh, Josh is probably he knows a little bit more than me, and I'm not embarrassed to say that. And he also has a, a beautiful elephant figurine. So, Josh, if you'd like to give us a call at 413-961-4263, we can discuss this elegant elephant, elegant elephant, and we can also discuss this schedule. Schedules get help you decide what you're going to take. Right. I also know it's a little higher. He's considering taking intervention math, which is like when you have a friend who's got a drinking problem, right? And then you just give him a bunch of math problems with your family and his friends together. Sounds like a, a great school that's offering a lot of yeah, comprehensive sort programs. Of non-traditional sort of academic. I like that school. Right. Josh, if you're out there, call us a little bit about your school. It seems cool. It's like uh, you learn about 
Star Wars characters and interventions. That's right. <coughs> this is a glass figurine, it looks like. If you drop it, it will break, so it's very valuable. So keep that in mind if you're swapping for it and understand that it could arrive to you broken if Josh doesn't expertly pack it. He right. has to do the math to figure out how much bubble wrap should I put in here. One fourth squares of bubble wrap at the post office when Jared sends it out. We need three fourths squares. Wait, who's Jared? He's the person who uh, works at the post office for at Josh's town. Okay. And if Jared's working, he handles the packages a little bit more delicately. But if Robert is working, forget it. You need at least one and one fourth. At a triple wrap it, right. like a, like a when you're making a small burrito with a large tortilla. Right. <clears throat> Call from. Come on in. Hello. This is the William Street Swap Shop. You're our first customer. Hey Zach. Hey Matt. It's Jordan. How's it going today? What's hey, going on, man? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Bonkers. I, I yeah, see man. you got the sound card working. That's right. Yeah. They got all of your, uh, for, for our folks who are watching, just real quick, Jordan, I want to address them. Jordan is one of our uh, favorite callers. He calls in and is always updating our soundboard for us, just giving us the best uh, phrases and quotes to use. A lot of people use soundboards from popular movie characters, and we said, Jordan, you're all, all we need. Can you marry me? Thank you. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. You're welcome. I'm actually showing my friend the show today. I visited him down in UMass Amherst. Nice. He liked it so far. Good. What did he say? Like, what was his first up, reaction? Man. Like, you serious? His first reaction was, you're not really soundboard did on this show. And I was like, you want to bet? He went in at one. He said, you, he said, you want to you wanna bet? Wait for this to happen. Can't try me twice for the same crime. <laughs> Man, he was proved wrong, proven wrong. See, you got that's what you got to do. You got to tell him like, hey, uh, this is a show I like, and if you don't like this show, then we can't be friends. He's digging it. He's Good. been watching it for the past two days since I've been here. Well, oh. day, day. Right on. Yeah. Well, now you know. If you guys ever want to come hang out with us, we're here. Yeah. Come visit. Yeah. I could just make the drive, you know, hang out, grab a bow tie, bolo tie. Grab a bolo tie, come on down, get in the booth. We'll record like two or 3,000 new sound bites. Um, and uh, I don't know if you were watching yesterday, but we're going to bring back Epic. We decided that right. it's fallen out of I favor. I saw that. Yeah. I tried calling in, but I just I couldn't get in. So what should we, you should say we go epic? for? 100% Epic or just... Let's do two Epic. epics. One okay. really excited jacked. You just found out you got accepted into uh, the best program at your school. You're going to be on the on the lacrosse team. And then let's hear it. All right, let's do this. Epic. All right. Now how about 99% Epic? 99% Epic. You just gotta uh, B plus on your on the test that you studied really hard for. Epic. Now, how about um, not that epic? Not that epic. We'll probably use that one a lot, right? That's a good, good. one, Jordan. <clears throat> yeah. Use use them as much as you want. Thank you. Cool, man. So what's going on in weekend? Boston? Yeah. Oh, nothing up here. I'm actually in Amherst. That's um. Completely the opposite direction. Oh. Boston. Okay. Hmm. I don't know that zone real well. I. Amherst. It's, there. it's nice out here. It's like farm country, but it's raining. Yeah. So we're watching Swap inside today. Gotcha. Nice. You've you been texting. Our... You've been texting anybody? Can you read your last couple texts to us? Last couple texts. Let me grab my. Yeah. Oh, I'm on my phone actually. Our sister oh, swap shop city is actually in Amherst. Yeah, it's we have a the sister uh, swap shop. Where they? Oh no wait. It's more like edu well educated. We're like the southern swap shop. They're right. like the more academic right. kind of smarter one. Exactly. You you guys are the better swap shop though. Oh, so thank you. you. That's all that matters. Thank you, Jordan. Not all smarts. Not all book smarts. Some of it's got to be the swapping you get when you. Around on the streets. 
for just that wanna... hundred episode, I'm gonna hang out with Nick, and we're gonna we're gonna call in to you guys. Oh, absolutely! Yeah. It's gonna be a big party. We have. Let me just tease this real quick since we already talked about it coming up. Here's the. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. We're gonna have. You like treats? Don't eat lunch. Who doesn't like treats? Well, just I'm just saying, don't eat lunch on Friday. We're on during lunchtime. A lot of people have already eaten lunch or are eating lunch. But let me tell you, clear your lunch plans. We'll feed you. I'm not. I'm not gonna eat lunch. We're I'm gonna. gonna I'm not gonna eat for at least two days. I'm gonna fast. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're gonna um, encourage everyone to watch. Uh, get in some loose fitting clothes and just get a bunch of menthol rub all over your body so it's like a full sensory experience. Pop some popcorn. A lot of people prefer so to put it in a bag yesterday. I pop it in a pan. And you had a caller who uh, punched a hundred kilometer soccer ball. That's right. Soccer ball. And I was amazed. That guy was just Epic. Guest appearance on the show, I think, guys. I like that guy, too. That was an exciting story. What do you think about the metric system, though? The metric system is not bad. Okay. It's not bad. I mean, it's all right. Yeah. Well, we what we could do is... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. We can get our friend from Cyprus we're talking about for the 100th episode flying him from Cyprus out to back to the swap shop and having him come on live and punch the soccer ball. Mm -hmm. we have, the we're episode. working on a speed machine. There's so many it. possibilities, yeah. We'll get, yeah. I was thinking the same thing, actually. Or we could get David. When I was watching it. We could get David Beckham on here to kick a ball at him. Right. And just prove if he's really got what it takes. What do you I think mean, we should hey. do? What should we do? We're going to crowdsource the 100th episode concept today. Um, what should you guys do for the 100th episode? If it was up to uh, Jay Dizzle, right. as we like to call you. Get, get a guest appearance, like a, a guest musical act, Ooh. like every big time show does. you got to get like the halfway point yeah. guest musical act. Should we get Everclear? <laughs> Ever clear. I mean, most deaf. Most deaf. Except I kind of get it in Massachusetts because it's illegal here. Oh, the, oh okay. The band isn't legal. Ever clear is illegal in Massachusetts. Oh, hey. the band. I thought you meant the alcohol. They party oh, hard. Yeah. Band. The band is uh part hard partiers. Yeah. I think you guys should get the musical act. Uh, that'd be interesting. That would be interesting. Have them make a swap song. What's your favorite kind of food to eat for 100 episodes? Favorite kind of food to eat for 100 episodes right. would be finger food. Finger you know? foods. Quick little mozzarella stick, french fries. That sounds good. Can we get one more quick sound bite and you say, I like to eat it on the go? I like to eat it on the go. Perfect. We need to right, we'll be updating this into our app as well. Once we release Please the do. app. Please do. Um, well, thanks again. Every time you call, it's a joy, and we get some cool new stuff to put on the show. So, oh, I, I did. Can I ask one, for one more soundboard, actually? I hear a lot of people say it, and I want to add it to the soundboard. It's hip. A lot of people are telling me it's going to be lit. So on Friday for the 100th episode, it's going to be lit. If you would say it's that. gonna be lit. One more time, sorry. It's gonna be lit. Thank you. Nice. No Tune problem. In Friday, hundredth episode, man. We're right. really promoting this. We got to come up with something now. Oh, it's gonna be big deal, Matt. Do I'm, do a crossover with Fish Center. That would be interesting. Hundred episode special appearance by Fish Center. Right. Interesting. Yeah. We'll have to tease that with them. Maybe we could. Exactly. Uh, that's a great idea, Jordan. Yeah, I like the idea of bringing in some celebs. Right. Make it a big. Almost like we don't spend even spend a lot anything. of money on it. We yeah. just sit in the back. We don't even come in that day. Maybe we just tell people. Bring hey, in celebrity we're party. fish. Big don't party. even bring in all of Fish Center. Just bring in like celebrity fish from Fish Center. You know. Perfect. See what they like. Well, what if we brought in a real, a, a new character for our show, a new pet? That would be awesome. Like man. a bird. That Matt would take care of it outside of the shop, and we would bring it in on Fridays. Yeah. Every time we get a milestone, we like, call yeah. Matt up. Matt, we need that parrot. 
How's he doing? Bird Friday. You know who I think we should try to get is uh, Dame Judy Dench. Right. For Friday. Do you think oh, she yeah. is watches the swap shop? Get Nick Raposa in there. That would be interesting. <laughs> We'll have to see if he's available. He's our buddy. If we can't get Dame Judy Dench, we'll see if Nick Raposa is uh, would be a good. That backup. that would be crazy. <clears throat> right. Well, thank you for your call, Jordan. We uh, we will take your ideas to heart, and we can't wait to unveil what we have planned for Friday. All right, guys. I'll be watching. I'll be excited for Friday. Thank but you. We hope we don't let you down. You guys never let me down. Have a good swap day, guys. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Jordan. Keep it real, bro. And lit. Great, great guy. Great voice. That's right. He's become a, ingrained into the fabric of the show. He's always bringing in insight, wisdom. Days oh, when you're feeling upset. Man. You got oh, Jordan. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Should we look at some of the new items? Let's go back to those items. <clears throat> it looks like we have the next uh, item after we just talked about the elephant figurine. Right. This, this is cat a cat magnet from Matthew. Great name and a great item. The best thing to hold on to in this world is each other. And it looks like the cat, it's hard to tell with the text, but it's holding on to a little dog. Holding on to a little dog. A little dog's head. That just brings... I hope to. I, ho I want to believe that this photo is real and that it was not shopped. Or it took place, edited I think. Paint. This um. This show is on the internet, and as you know, the internet loves uh, cats doing things. So I think this is going to be a hot item. It's a good synergy of sort of uh, you know demographics here. Right. And uh, I think it's got a good message for for life. That's right, Matt. I hold on to you when it gets hectic. I remember. And what better way to put this magnet up? We don't know the scale. It looks like it's on a on a cork board. But I would say this magnet, put it on your fridge. It's a friendly reminder every time if you live with your significant other or you live with someone in your family who's always going to the fridge in the morning to grab their lunch, they packed a sandwich the night before, they're going to see that and it's going to make them a little bit even they might be happy already, but it's going to make them a little bit more happy. Yeah. You can't have a bad day when you're looking at this magnet. No, I'm already, it's already <coughs> turned my day around. I'm having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And actually, this magnet, it's a good segue moment because uh, Matthew, the swapper, sent us a little message with this magnet. And it said, um, was wondering if you guys could do me a small favor and mention my girlfriend, Jamie, on the show. She's going through some hard times, and I'm sure hearing some kind of words of inspiration from you guys would be special. She always watches the show with me, and we have a good time watching it together. Oh, that's, so, that's very kind. Yeah, we wanted to make this special. And we actually, people don't know about this, but we have a, a separate department for this whole kind of thing. Um, and we call it the, the cheer up department. So we want to welcome our special guest, Vice President, Vice President of the Cheer Up Department, Rachel. Happy Congratulations. to be here. Thank you so much. I'm very excited to uh, have this VP position. Right. Yeah. I know recently you, you, you got were promoted very recently. You were like a director of Cheer Ups. Yes. You just got the bump up. How does it feel? It's pretty great. I'm aiming for uh, presidency. I know um, our president, she's great. I mean, she's got a lot of cheer, but. Right. Um, I can learn a lot from her, so I'm just going off of that. That's yeah. the right attitude to have. And she's, you're on the show today, and now's the chance to shine bright. Yes. Yes, I've heard Matthew's story, and um, I think we can help. Yeah, I think we, can, uh, we can do some cheering spread up. Spread a little bit of right. cheer, um, for sure. I always want to offer good. cheers, compliments, gestures, kindness. 
and I think it's great to do it through this conduit, through the cheer-up department. And can you talk a little bit about your experience um, cheering people up in life? Do you, um, you know, just I any think sort of time you remember cheering someone up? Yeah, yeah, I think you said it best. You know, we all have a purpose, and I think when I was born that I just knew I, I wanted to cheer people up. And um, so I started, you know, I, uh, I like giving hugs. I like right. to uh, pat people on the back. I like to, you know, if they're uncomfortable with touching, I got to read that. But yeah. compliments, um, telling people that, you know, they got great noses oh. or uh, look thank well you. bald. Thank yes, you. I think you look thank great. You. Oh, Good you. head Aww. shape. And, uh, oh, thanks. Matt, uh, <laughs> great smile. I truly. thanked you ahead of what you ever were you were going to say. I, so. Thank uh. you. That, that means a lot. It's and, and what people have always told me, it's kill them with kindness. Yes. And, you know, yes. it's great to offer out. A helping hand because you never know when someone needs it. Yeah, and they don't have to be asking for it. Just throw it at them. Right. They at least expect right. it, you know. I've noticed you've always got a smile on your face, almost always. Yes. And I was wondering, can you just show us for like maybe five seconds, like just give us some of that good smile when you're really happy about something, like what it looks like? Okay, I'll try to be as genuine as possible. Tell a joke. Into yeah, this camera yeah. right Into this camera right this now. One. We're so glad you just got the promotion. Okay. Now, real quick, can you switch it to when you're actually kind of sad, but you're smiling just because you want, you know, you're putting on airs for people? You got the promotion, but President Kathy, she's still in charge. See, that's what I'm talking about. Either way, <laughs> it's convincing. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being our vice president of the cheer-up department. Yeah. I'm it's happy, a real great happy to be here. <coughs> I'm glad, glad that we have that in our show. Yes. So um, we put together, or I guess uh, we wanted to do something special for Jamie, right. so we put together, why don't you talk about it, Zach? You're more intimately uh, uh, acquainted with this project. So Jamie, uh, before we roll this video, I hope you're watching this at, at home or we're on, the, on the commute or wherever you're watching it at because we know you can watch this wherever because with Wi-Fi and mobile devices, we're streaming. And when you're streaming, you can be found anywhere. It's like go swimming in a creek. You might start one place, but you'll end up at the next, next place because there's a, a flow, a current that can ta uh, takes you through it. So we put together an animated video that shows you Jamie, and also anyone else who's watching right now, how great it must feel to have someone who cares about you, and to show you what gestures, compliments, and kindness comes from our cheer-up department. Just a few examples you can do yourself. Yeah. So this is for you, Jamie. He just got home. It's been a long week at work. But guess what? You should bring that person in your special life roses. That's a nice way to say, hey, I still care about you. I don't want to break up or have any upset feelings towards you. Another way you can get cheered up is through ice cream. It's a dessert people have loved since they were kids. And when you're feeling down, yeah, give me a scoop of that grape with some chocolate. And uh, it doesn't matter where we're from. We'll just enjoy some ice cream together. Oh, this is a good one. You throw your jacket down for someone walking across the street. Even if you don't know them, they can walk across and not have to step on that puddle. They were hesitant at first, but here they go. Oh wait, no. Oh, there's a jacket there. And it's a nice leather jacket. You must really care about my new uh, red shoes. Rachel, do you have anything you'd like to compliment the kindness there? I love those blue laces. R Rachel's going to do this one. I'm going to do it with her, this next one. This next one. Part of her new job title. Oh, man. What's this? What's, what's coming out here? Oh, it looks like you're letting me use the remote. Thanks so much. This oh. makes me happier. Yeah, now you can pick out what channels to watch, and I don't have to be flipping through and you getting upset, so I'm just going to give it to you right here. You love HGTV? I don't like it. Now it's my turn. And just as Rachel had mentioned, one nice thing you can do if you have nothing to give except love is a touch. Give that person a little pit pat on the back. Just give them a pat on the back or just rub their back. That's a part of me that doesn't get touched often except by my bed. 
so I like it when someone rubs my back. I don't be afraid to go up towards the neck. I have a little bone on my spine I like tickled there. <laughs> but most of all, just remember, your feet are also something important. So keep on letting people touch them and don't, you don't need to call any kind of authorities. Just let them do it. If you don't feel good about it later, journal about it. But why get the cops involved? It's a nice kind gesture. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rachel, it's been so great having you and the promotion was well deserved to Thank the you. department of uh, Cheer Up department. Yeah. So we'll just code all the fees for that video to the cheer up department. Okay, yes. Yeah. I know that you guys are big uh, sponsors for our department. Right. We really appreciate all We we'll just want to make sure we allocate the right money. To, to the, yeah. How much of the budget do we have for the video, the cheer up videos of your, because that costs a lot. Like. It's up there. I can't really say, um, but uh, I'll get back to you on that. If what? it was up to you, how much money could we have for that video? Over two like two wow that's great thank you okay rachel what i like a lot about you is you get the job done and yeah. president kathy she shows up but she's not always working all the time she's more of a figurehead but you're here on boots on the ground getting things done and when it comes time for a promotion to president i will put my right name kathy's in got you. a great career she's done a lot for the company but sometimes i just get the feeling So we like where you're taking the cheer right. up department, and uh, Kathy, we wish her the best too. Right. I hope she's. You're doing great, Kathy. Yeah, thank you, Kathy. Happy to work under you. Right, your stellar performance. A lot of cheers you've brought over the years. Not there's many no cheers. And there's no way Rachel's ever gonna outshine you or try to take the thing you've built. She just she does her own thing. She's not. That's not her style. She's not gonna try to get there underneath you and just when you earn your trust and then take over the cheer up department. That's right. Not something she's capable of. Jamie, we just want to thank you for watching the show. Uh, we are very sorry to hear you going through any troubles and just hang in there and know that you have someone who really cares a lot about you. And also we're here for you. And then as the cheer up department, we're going to on three say, Cheer it up, Jamie. Cheer it up, Jamie. Okay. All right. Uh, three of us on three. Yeah. Okay. Into uh, that camera. That camera. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Cheer, Cheer it up, up Jamie. Jamie. Can you marry me? Mm, that's a nice question to ask if you ever want to cheer someone up. I just hit that button randomly, but it kind of works. It does. Thank you so much. Thank I know you, you had a busy afternoon of do. Uh, invoicing do. to do. Thank you, though. Thank Again, you, area. happy to be here. Thank you, Rachel. <clears throat> that was good. I, I think was. hopefully we added a little cheer to the world. Rachel did a great job in she her did. new duties for the first time she as did. vice president of the cheer department. I want to thank her one more time for that. Thank you, Rachel. She not only cheered up our audience, but she cheered me up. I know. She I gave feel us good a little, compliments. Yeah. Sunnier. Right. Happy day. We got a little housekeeping to do. We had a we had a deal on the table. Let's if we can bring that up if it's not too hard right now. There was two paintings for each other. Um one was a dude in underwear we've been seeing for a while. The other was a sad clown from John who we work right. with. Um, we have an update on that deal. An update. Let's look at it. <coughs> Let's take a peek. Go ahead and just pull up the still. There we go. I loved this deal. I thought it could be really something special because it was two kinds of art that both, you know, look at the world a little differently. Uh, we got an email from Ian. And, Who did uh, the painting below. Yeah. Ian did the painting. Or his friend did. He's swapping oh, that's it. That's right. Up. But um, Ian said, not... Nah, a big fan of clowns, and the results are... A no swap. A no swap. Second no swap we've had. Oh, man. Yeah. No successful swaps. Two no swaps, zero successful swaps. Which isn't a bad thing, <clears throat> but just what you got to do. 
we don't try to make things happen if they're not meant to happen. That's we right. don't try to convince people to swap. That's not the kind of swap shop we run. Some of the other ones will try to pressure you into making the swap. We got a no pressure policy here. That's right. Hands off, unless it's to uh, tickle or pat. Get your hands off me. Um, and if someone says that, you just... And then you back away. Right. Whenever there is one door of a swap closed, another door is open, though, and then we have a actual potential swap from Ian, who felt bad for not making it happen. And uh, that potential swap is a very exciting one. Looks like this. So Ian countered with his no swap by saying, I'd like to swap for that Bigfoot sticker with this hammerhead shark sticker. Two stickers. I would say it's a good swap. Sticker for sticker. You can't right. go wrong. It's like, uh, you know, um, punching fists with uh, your granddad's ghost or whatnot. Absolutely. <coughs> Ian... Big fan of hammerhead sharks. The reason they're called hammerheads is because the top of their head there looks like it's a hammer. Looks like he's tired of the shark, though, and wants that yeti. Two m beasts, both One, proven to be real. Both very real. Both important in uh, mythology of the water and the land. I like hammerhead sharks because their face is just... Where do you see a face like that in nature anywhere else? Right. How do the eyeballs get there? And it, it may look like they're frowning, but they're always smiling because the face, if you look at it upside down, mm -hmm. that's a smile. Turn that frown upside down. I put hammerhead shark in the same category as that Spuds McKenzie kind of dog. You ever see one of those in real life? Right. Some sort of terrier. It's got a weird face. Just like a hammerhead shark for a fish. If that thing swam up on me and I was in the water and I saw one of those side eyes uh, looking at my body, yeah, I would, it would freak me out. What would be a great maybe show idea, and I'm just offering this out for someone else to pitch, but it's a hammerhead shark and a yeti together. The hammerhead shark is a construction worker. And it hammers nails all day. And it comes home and says, I got a headache. I've been hammering nails all day. And then the Yeti is uh, just a, a creature that lives in its backyard in the Hammerhead Sharks family. When is that Yeti going to start paying rent? You got a nice, you know, can we have a conversation? Hey, uh, can we have a conversation for a sec? Just something we need to talk about. Um, I feel like I've been really pretty cool about the living here thing. But um, maybe for the month of May, you know, May 1st just happened, you could chip in a little bit yeti right. i'm just i work hard all day yeah i'm not trying to be uncool about this and you like you're a friend but it's just a conversation we need to have so right if you had stickers matt where would you put stickers um i would put one in my lunchbox i would put one underneath uh underneath my collection of beach balls to mark the area where the beach ball collection needs to be. And uh, I would put the third one in a safety deposit box that only I have the key to. I like, I know people put stickers on skateboards and computers. I want to put one on my laptop, become a DJ. That's my new, Yeah. what I want to do. The hammerhead sticker I think would look a little bit cooler than the Yeti, but if so, I think Ian is proposing this offer and he's getting rid of the cooler sticker. <coughs> Not saying the Yeti isn't cool, but mm -hmm. you know the Yeti's is just two colors. That hammerhead's got a green, a blue, a white, a red. A lot of different colors going on. A lot of more lines, design. Uh, so we want to put this out there and. The uh, I remember the Yeti, I just r r remembered that the Yeti sticker belongs to Gary, a.k.a. Multi-Tool Gary. Right. 
So if you're out there, Gary, give us a call. Uh, let us know if you want to do this swap. 413-961-4263. And uh, let us know if you want to do the swap. And also tell us about the latest time you helped somebody out of a jam with the multi-tool. Right. I always like to look at items, keep with a quarter next to it, and I always like to think the value of that item is how many times the quarter can fit inside of mm -hmm. the sticker. And I'd say, yeah, it's about the six or seven times, so about a dollar fifty, a yeah. dollar seventy-five. Yeah, the Q price. Right. We all, it's got a Q price of uh, twenty. Right. And that's usually when you want to find out. When I watch shows, that get, how much is this price for this laundry mat, laundry machine? I think how many quarters could I fill inside that and that's about how much it would be worth. done almost 100 of these shows and I feel like I'm going to have the confidence I need one of these days to just jump in and know it's going to be good but you know is it I don't know hey Matt it's all about cheering up today we spoke with Rachel just a quick recap from the cheer up department newly promoted vice president there's nothing to be upset about just cheer up okay. cheer up buddy well, you know what cheers me up is looking at some new items. That's right. Got a few more minutes, and let's just take a look a at a few we haven't talked about yet. Catch up. The framed map of Maine. Maine. Oh, look! There's a. Okay, so this is a is, is an accurate map. Hey. That's the Atlantic Ocean to the east, and it looks like he made John made a maze that you have to get through to right. get from the southern city of Portland to the northern city of uh, uh, Fairfax. Right. And then once you get past there, you're out of Maine and into Canada. A whole new adventure begins. This looks like an accurate map. John ha must have something hidden at the top of Maine. It's up to you to find it. And the first way to get to it is to start swapping. Just like National Treasures, uh, the movie starring Nicolas Cage, you can find some kind of treasure with this map. We've never had a caller from Maine, so if you're from Maine, we've got enough time. Give us a call, 413-961-4263. I want to know about Maine. I don't know anything about it. Hey. Lobsters, so that's about all I know. So you think you know me, which is also the abbreviation for Maine. So you think you know Maine, huh? Do ya? Go. That's I've already solved the maze in my head. Oh, good. I was thinking they should put on their license plate, you don't know me. Right. But Maine people With an exclamation Maine. point, though, to make it more cheerful. Maine isn't far from Massachusetts, Amherst, where our sister city of the swap shop is. Where Jordan is right now, uh, eating... Food. What is at the end of this map? There's cactuses in there. It's elusive. It's mysterious. What can we find in Maine? My Maine man. My Maine woman. My Maine... Waiting on a call from Maine. If you're in Maine, call us. If you know someone who lives there, send them a text with our phone or number. Please refrain if you're not from Maine. 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 Don't be a pain. Just call in if you're from Maine. When humans are no longer the masters of earth. 
there will be still the land of Maine. Head north, then to Canada. You'll find what you're looking for. Take a look at one the next last item. item, I think, today. Yeah. Let's make this one a good one. Oh, is this a... Uh, it's a tiara. Tiara. Being uh, swapped swapper by, by Master, Master Genius. Genius. What can we say about this tiara? Do you like to look handsome or pretty? Are you a delicate rose? It's like a homecoming queen sort of award. Right. If you wanted to be homecoming queen and were never chosen, as Zach and I were not, you can get this tiara. Look, you did it, Zach. I thank you for voting for me. I didn't go to my homecoming or prom, but now I feel like I'm there. Thank you for giving me this tiara and giving me the confidence to uh, finally talk to that person I have a crush on. Yeah. I hope no one put anything in the fruit punch. I love a nice fruit drink. I hope someone asked me on a date this prom. I don't even need to be queen. I just want to be asked. I don't need the tiara. I don't need anything fancy. That's right. It looks like it's uh, probably at least 48 jewels in the top of that tiara. Very rare. This is something you could wear every day, like a hat. When you're tired of wearing it, put it in a box. Put it in your closet. Don't let anyone near it. And then when, if you ever have a little baby, give it to them. And if your hair is ever just slightly chilly, the weather is cooling down in the fall, you can put this on. Create it generates a little bit of warmth for right. your head. It's a good wind blocker. You see the wind will hit the top part of it and it will split the wind up in other directions. So it also doesn't mess up your hair. You have worked hard this whole time and you deserve something that announces your presence to the room. That's right. Why not make it this tiara? The guy who is swapping it has no eyes, but do not judge him based on that. A lot of uh, cool people in books and novels have had no eyes. And That's like right. the guy in the Alice in Chains uh, music video. It's a really cool new metal thing to do. Think about the tiara. I think it's a good item it to kind of let people sleep on tonight. That's right. That image of uh, Master Genius and his uh, homecoming queen crown. Think about your, reflect on your homecoming <laughs> or prom. We are very sorry if we did not get to any of your items today. We are catching up. We have a lot of items in the swap shop. We'll return to them on Thursday at 1 p.m. Tomorrow I'll be alone doing Wonderful Wednesday at 1 p.m. And I'll miss being in this room, but I know you're going to do a great job. Thank you, Matt. As you always do on Wednesday. Thank you. And stay tuned and please watch every day. But more importantly, be ready to solve a break Friday. Thank you very much for tuning in. And we hope you have a great rest of your day. You're all very uh, beautiful. That's a compliment. A cheer up, department. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. It's a deal. It's a deal. <laughs>